Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregor Manorino. Friday, July 12th, 2024, pre-market report. People, um, at the end of last year, actually at the end of the last several years, the theme I have covered with all of you was the following year, we would see an increase in propaganda, deceptions, falsehoods, lies, uh, and, and a whole plethora of other things, and it's all playing out exactly as you and I said it would. Now, I want to bring your attention to a couple of things here. Um, I run these, these like, polls once in a while, pretty much every day, and I want to, I want to hear from all of you. I uh, try to understand what you're thinking. So I want to cover this with you, and then I want to move on to what's happening here. So my question was, how likely are you to believe that government data uh, that they provide to us regarding the economy is accurate and true? 3% of you said that they are very likely to believe government data and they trust it, just 3%. 97% of you said that you are highly unlikely to believe any government data and went on to say that mostly, if not all of it, is propaganda. Now let's talk a little bit about that again before we move forward. I My days of <laughs> seriously pounding on um, I hate uh, Biden, okay? Uh, I, again, I think the man is defenseless and he's just a puppet anyway. But this is what I think people, um, at least... Look, even if you support this guy, and I know he has a lot of support because I hear from you all the time here, when you see a headline like this, okay, this is Market Watch. Biden praises the U.S. economy's strength as he insists he's staying in the race. Okay, whatever. Praising the economy. So let's just, I just put down a few things here that obviously Biden must think is good. 78%. 78% of American working American citizens are living paycheck to paycheck. That must be a sign of a, a booming economy to him. Ballooning debts and deficits like we have been never seen before. That must be a sign of a strong economy too. Uh, and obviously continuing rising inflation. Although, he came out yesterday say, stating that inflation is dropping, which it is not dropping by their own numbers. Inflation has risen. Okay. Now, here's another part of propaganda that I want to cover real quick. This is Reuters and um, from this morning. So disinflation, you know, that's kind of an interesting uh, way of deceiving people. They don't understand what it means. Because again, if people understood the truth that inflation continues to rise, it has nowhere to go but much higher because of the so-called bruised dollar by their own words here. So let's cover this. Disinflation, very ambiguous. Inflation continues to rise. That's the truth. Now, a rotation. What are they talking about, a rotation? Yesterday, the star of the show, and I didn't even talk about it because it's just it doesn't even matter, was the movement of cash into small cap stocks or domestic companies here. Okay, and that's on the back of what we're about to see. And, and a, a vicious, how do I say this another way? I can't think of another way to put it, but a vicious cycle of dollar devaluation to an extreme level. So again, we don't get pullbacks in this market anymore. We haven't had one in like, I don't know, seven or eight weeks. We've had record high, record high, record high, record high, record high, record high. But this rotation here uh, that they're speaking about is the movement from large cap into small caps. Just just, just ignore this stuff, okay? And don't deviate from, from the pathway that you and I are on. We can't be in better spots. If you've been with me for any length of time, honestly, you could not possibly be in a better spot with regard to the freak show that we are in right now in, in the markets and everything else connected to it. So let's cover the bruised dollar here, okay? Now... If we look at this, look, keep that in mind, bruised dollar, because I want to show you something else. Here's a few headlines from, from today. 
You can't see them, but I'm going to cover them real quick. So surprise drop in the CPI, which it didn't drop at all, okay, propels gold prices towards all-time highs. Beautiful. That's headline number one. Headline number two, gold shines in short term as copper holds midterm appeal Deutsche Bank survey finds. Okay, more positive news on gold. Third one, gold nears record close as global uncertainty fuels rally. What this is all about, what the, this is almost kind of a deception in a way. Yes, it's beautiful and lovely that we're, that people are waking up to the fact that you have to be in gold, more specifically silver, but it's commodities across the board. Why? Why? Here, these things are priced in dollars. Okay, so again, you just kind of know where to look and how to understand the situation here. This so-called bruised dollar here, people... Maybe you're brand new here today, I don't know. But you, we, the people of the world, haven't seen a thing with regard to what central banks have in store for us. How they're going to suck the purchasing power of their currencies out much faster moving forward. And so, and look, yesterday, this, this, this fake news with regard to cooling inflation, it's not cooling. It continues to rise by their own numbers, but that's the propaganda. And again, of course, you have this thing, okay, telling you how great everything is. Uh, of, of course, you know, this is what I'm talking about. Even supporters of this guy, and there's a lot of you, I know there is because I hear from you every freaking day, okay. Does that bother you at all that you're being lied to directly what did i write here oh yeah i was talking about the things that he considers to be strong 78 percent of people are living paycheck to paycheck working people ballooning deaths and deficits rising inflation and we can go on and on your manufacturing falling off the cliff we've become an import nation this is why you're seeing the trade deficit continue to widen blah 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 but anyway like i was going to say look you and i have discussed how to play this game, because that's all this is and nothing is what it appears to be, quite obviously. We, what we need to do is, of course, increase our exposure to commodities here. These are priced in dollars and we haven't seen anything yet with regard to dollar devaluation. With regard to what the Federal Reserve is going to do, this was a setup yesterday. Um, and they're trying to, again, you're going to see more propaganda about how, how great it is that inflation is cooling. Uh, whatever word they want to come up with, that is these ambiguous kind of words that people can't really get, to, if they said, if, they can't tell you the truth, obviously. So with that, and they won't tell you the truth. No one is going to tell you the truth. There's going to be a blame game. No fingers pointed at central banks by anyone running for president or in office right now. It's all a grand deception to keep your eyes off the ball, who, who the real enemy is and who the real government is, okay? The data... The government data is obviously the central banks because they're the government. Um, and, you know, it's amazing how, you know, again, going back to Biden here, praising the economy like he's taking credit for the economy. Presidents don't run the economy. The economy is run by central banks. The, the, the entire financial system, the, the monetary system, the markets are run by the central banks, not the Bidens, not the Trumps. Or anybody else. So this is, again, part of the grand deception to keep your eye off of the ball. And when you hear this kind of talk about praise for the economy, people, no matter what side of the same bird you're on, the right wing or the left wing, same bird, uniparty here, you, you, you do realize you're being lied to and deceived and told to look here, don't look there. You can't be told. It's the Fed who's in actual charge of everything. Anyway, with regard to... This bruised dollar situation here and the action that the Federal Reserve is about to take. Again, yesterday's data was just an excuse to allow the Fed to inflate. Okay, you will know that. What's the number one goal of every central bank on this planet? Okay, it's to increase their power, increase their strength, increase their stranglehold on the population. How do they do this? By inflating. Again, a central bank's product is one thing and one thing only, and that is their ability to issue more debt, to pull more debt into the system. You understand? We can take that power away. We, the people of the world, have the power to take it away, but it won't happen. Again, they got People stuck in such a spot right now, not understanding that 
we the people do have the power. Again, prevent a central bank, just one, any of them, from issuing a single dollar of their currency or a euro, whatever it is. We, if we were, could take down one central bank by stopping them from, again, from issuing one extra dollar of currency, that bank, that central bank collapses. And that would start a domino effect around the world. Uh, and we could take back the system. We cannot be a free people if we have to live under their rulership. You understand? And we have to participate in their system. We lose. No matter who sits behind the Resolute Desk or anywhere else in the world if we're forced to live in that situation. But again, we can capitalize on that. This is the MMRI from this morning following exactly the trajectory you and I predicted it would. And this is going to continue as the bruised dollar, okay, don't take my word for it, wherever the hell I put it, the bruised dollar here gets even more bruised. In other words, loses its purchasing power, uh, as, as well as all the other central bank issued currencies. As the Fed buys more debt, all this does, again, is open that doorway for cash to make its way into the stock market. So forget about rotation. I know that our lovely friend Jim Cramer, who really is a shill of the highest possible order. If you love Jim Cramer, good for you. The man is a... <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Uh, he's talking about how you should play the market. Now, we had uh, the sell-off yesterday in tech. Really? Really, Jim? Honestly? Have you been paying any attention to what tech has been doing for the longest time? People need to be buying the dips there, Jim, okay? And you know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you understand. And he knows about dollar devaluation, what central banks do. But he's another thing who can't tell you the truth and won't. Uh, you know, he's got he's to keep his rolling up his sleeves, nonsensical, hitting bells and whistles job out there. You can't make this stuff up, but that's the truth. Anyway, look... Um, I'm preaching to the choir here, but people, what is the, what is the, what is the, what are you going to take away from this video? Expect a lot more lies, tall tales, fake news, propaganda, deceptions, dist no truth. You can't get the truth here, and that's all that people want. People want the truth, and they can't get it, and that is what's causing, I think, anxiety, stress, um, and, and uh, it's hard for people to cope in this environment. They, they don't understand what's happening to them. They're being told how strong our economy is, but they can't make ends meet. They don't understand what's going on here because, again, they're being lied to on a scale that is just too much to get your head around. But it's not going to change the damn thing for you and me. You and me, we're going to continue what we're doing. We will be buying the dips across the board, okay? Forget Jim Cramer and his nonsensical whatever he's talking about, okay? The... the, the it's just too much. As long as this mechanism continues, we're going to be buying all the dips in the stock market, no matter where they are. And I think tech is a huge place to be moving forward. We're going to be buying the dips with gold, silver, platinum, palladium, increasing our position, our exposure to commodities. Make sense to you? As the dollar continues its slide here, it ain't getting any stronger, just so you know. Okay. On a relative strength basis or comparative, the dollar is going to remain the prettiest bell at the ball. Regardless of all the talk about the dollars losing its reserve status. and everything. Yeah, sure, that's happening, but it ain't going to be anytime soon. So for now, we continue to do what we're doing. And it's not going to change our position with regard to holding gold, silver, again, gaining more exposure to commodities across the board. This is misleading, as I said. All these headlines, which are very gold positive, it should be all about commodities. Because commodities are going to be the place to be, bar none, once the eventual meltdown in the debt market occurs. And we have a pump that's going on right now in the debt market is, again, this excuse for the Fed to start cutting rates. And when they cut rates, how does the Fed do that? They can't just say, hey, you know what? We're going to cut rates. No, they have to create cash out of nothing that's issued debt through one door and buy it back through another door. This revolving door, massively inflationary. You're not supposed to know that. No one running for president is going to tell you that. The president we have now has no idea what's going on. That's because he's suffering from, in my opinion, old age-related dementia. Um... And I'm not putting the man down. I'm just telling you a fact, okay? Uh, and I don't care what the headlines say. The man's got Parkinson's disease, okay? Anyone who has a medical background can see the mask of Parkinson's on the guy. We're being told that he doesn't have Parkinson's. The neurologist said so. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up either. Again, no truth. It's all lies, all deceptions, all distractions. But that just strengthens our position. 
We get stronger because we're able to see through the nonsense, the garbage, the lies, the deceptions, the distractions. And we can't lose. In my perspective, we are in freaking invincible. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. All right, look, um, I'm going to end this video now, people. Let me know what you think of all the stuff we cover here, please. Uh, uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it. I'm counting on you for that. I will see all of you later. Oh, we're going to get some uh, economic news this morning. It probably just came up, but we'll cover it later during the live stream, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern, people, this guy loves you from the heart. Until we meet again, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other.